Open, babe. We're going. Woohoo! In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how we make a YouTube video episode. I'm going to show you the camera we use to film. Hello, buddy. This is the camera we use. We're going to hook this up to the laptop. Petra is cutting up some avocados. Mm -hmm. Yes, raw food. Yeah. Yummy. Mm. So I connected the camera cube with the cable to the laptop. Dream, buddies. Don't forget to dream. Connect it to the laptop with the cable. Mm -hmm. I right click and it says open the explorer. Mm -hmm. That's my explorer. So I go to the QB camera. This is this is uh, this is my camera cube. And then I'm gonna find the files that I used to film. So I'm going to the videos. I have three video files recorded. I select them to save space I'm gonna cut them so I'm cutting them off the card I'm going to my desktop and make a new folder 5 February 2017 uh, so I know roughly when this footage was taken I open the folder and I paste it in there I paste the files in there how's the avocado going ready we can eat <laughs> Yes. So I'm transferring the files from the QB, this uh, little bitty, little bitty, onto my desktop. I cut and paste it so I don't have copies anymore. But if I would want copies, I'd leave them on the camera. As it's a very important footage, I recommend that. And for this tutorial, it's not necessary. So there are my files, and that's my raw files on my desktop. So I can close this, and now here is a little folder. When I open it, you see the files that I recorded. Three files. So that's what we're going to work with. So how do we work with this? You have to uh, get a program called Wondershare Filmora. The easiest way to find Filmora is just go open your web browser. Um, and fill in Filmora. Uh, official Wonderfair Share Filmora. You can just click whatever you want. There it opens up. You can go to Downloads and choose your operating system. As you can see, you can put Filmora on an Android, uh, on an uh, Apple, or on an iPhone, or on an Apple computer, or on Windows. You download it. See, you can, uh, it says download, so you can download it to your desktop, whatever you want. And then it's downloading, and when it's ready, you can uh, click. Here's a file, Filmora setup, it says, click that, and it will install Filmora for you. You just say yes, and it will install it. I'm going to click no, because I already have it. All programs you go to Wondershare and there it is Wondershare Filmora click that it will open up this is always the opening screen of Filmora you have a choice here like this is a square square film and this is broad film and YouTube is broad so it has to be on 16 by 9 
and you have fully function and simple mode and always click on full function and then it opens up like this and you get some uh, news messages uh, I have to say Famora is a paid program so you have to register and you can click on register and then it says buy and you have to buy it it's about 50 to 60 bucks um, you see there's already stuff in there that's because I already worked with it basically it starts up like this empty so buddies mm -hmm. here we are pet a pet mm -hmm. and we go hello Petra hello Patrick. and we're going to show you guys how we edit so this is where the magic happens mm -hmm. uh, quick uh, what do we see here at the down of the uh, screen? I think that's called a timeline. Exactly. What's this uh, big uh, black thing? A preview screen. Ah, then must this be the import media files here? <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> All right. Sure so looks like it. Let's import some media. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the desktop and I found some raw footage and select it. I open it and in there it goes. Oh. I also filmed with another camera, so I'm going back to the desktop. I filmed with my QB action cam, my Polaroid Cube, and I also filmed with my with our smartphone. So I'm going to select those clips too. Then we have five clips in there. Uh, the fun thing is, I use two cameras, but a lot of programs can't deal with that properly. But Filmora can. Filmora is really awesome like that. It mm. it just uh, and deals with all the things in the background for you so you can focus on the editing that's awesome mm. so if you want to preview one of the clips that we imported I just double click it so if I double click this so one so walking back and now I press the space bar to pause this clip if I press space bar again we'll start playing it starts playing again from the groceries <laughs> If I now want to go back a frame, I, I use those handy arrow keys or cursor keys on your keyboard. If I press left, we go, we walk back. If I, back in time. we go back in time and you can see that the car drives backwards, a tiny car, and we walk backwards. If I press right, the car drives forward again. And it's really easy to remember spacebar and your cursor keys because, yeah, they're on there so might as well use them so we can make the car go back and to the front so if you want to do some precise editing that's handy to know but to edit it we have to drag it to the timeline so it's with this clip selected i drag it to the timeline as soon as on the timeline i get a save option so i can click save and i can name this any name i want in this case i'm going to name it season 2 episode 11 because that's what our episode is going to be. Yes. Um, so now you see this little clip on the timeline. It's really tiny. So if you want more detail what's in the clip, there's this handy button. I can drag it out to see more what is happening in the clip. You see my head moving. You see me looking. So at some point you see Petra in, in the clip appearing. Like here, here's Petra suddenly. Mm -hmm. uh, here you see me only. Uh, so this white line is called the playhead and wherever I click above above the clip I can place the clay head. Playhead. So wherever this play clip is playhead. I can do a cut and this is the scissor thing. So now this whole thing is one big yellow box. If I do a cut, if I click on the clip and I I put the playhead somewhere random, I do a cut, then you see this is yellow and this is yellow. So you have two yellow boxes, so it's it's a, a cut clip. So if I remove the front, like if I remove the left part of where I did the cut, mm -hmm. I do delete, then Filmora automatically places the rest of the clip at the beginning. How, how did you delete that? It was not quite clear. Okay, let's undo that. There's a handy undo option here. I click on the undo and back is the clip. Mm -hmm. I undo it again. And again, and again, and now there's no cut anymore. I just click on the clip where this playhead is, mm -hmm. 
and I go to the scissor and I click on the scissor and it split the clips into two clips. Wow. I click on the clip to select it. You can see a red box mm -hmm. and now the red box is on the left clip. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it's red, I can work with that clip. That's a clip that I'm working on. If I right click, I get more options and just have to remember for now, delete. And the clip is deleted. Mm -hmm. I can go back and delete the other clip if I made a mistake. I, I click on the right clip, I right click and delete the right clip. Mm -hmm. So I can also put it back again with undo. Mm -hmm. So basically that's all you need to know. So let's say I want to do another cut. I want to cut off the end part. Yes. We're walking here. And then you hear a strange noise. You hear the noise? It sounds like a Herman is drilling a hole somewhere. <laughs> um, you can also see in the clip, you can see that there's some, here are some uh, peaks mm -hmm. in the audio. So before those peaks start, that's when the sound starts. Uh, to show that I can also detach this, the audio, just by right clicking, and let's show, show you guys it again. I right click on the clip, I detach the audio, and there's the audio automatically uh, 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 detached from the video. Hmm. So then you see the peaks in the audio. So I don't want those peaks. Before the peaks start, I do a cut. I cut mm -hmm. and I remove the audio but because i removed the audio and i detached the audio you'll get no sound after the audio is missing so that's not what i wanted so i'm gonna reattach by undoing i'm reattached i reattached the audio there it is again and now i'm gonna make the cut and i cut off the whole piece mm -hmm. now i think okay we start i dragged in clip number three but maybe I want to drag in clip number one. I just click on the clip, I drag it to the timeline where I want it, I let go, and it automatically, let me zoom out a bit, it automatically placed the clip three that we're working on is in the back here. It automatically placed clip one in front of it. If clip one has to be to the back of it, I click on it, I drag it to the right, now it's to the back of it. Mm -hmm. I can also take the tiny clip and drag that one to the, to the back. I can take this clip and drag that one to the back. So that's how easy it is to move clips around on the timeline. Mm -hmm. So here you have another clip. It's, it's longer than the two small clips. So I can either zoom in a bit or I can zoom out as much as I want. I always like to have everything in view. Mm -hmm. when I work, so I get a notion of the length. Let's save. Don't forget to save. Now let's see what I have to say. Hello, buddies. So in this uh, special uh, episode, uh, we want... Hi. Hi. In this special episode, I'm going to show you guys... So you saw we kind of messed up there, Pat. Yes, we did. Right we did. So we have two options. Either we cut off the whole part mm -hmm. or we try to save uh, the, that intro and cut out the unwanted parts. Mm -hmm. So let's, uh, I'm going to press the space bar. Hello, buddies. You, as you see, if I go back with the cursor to the left, before Petra is waving, she has her hand. I'm poking my eye. What are you doing there? I don't know. So we want to we want that out. So before the camera turns away from me, I'm going to do a cut. I click on the clip and I click on the scissors. Easy mm. as that. Now the camera rolls. Petra is with hand in the face and before she starts waving. See, that's there's the hand. Now mm. she, now she is going to wave. So now I'm going to do another cut. And to see what happened, I have to zoom in a little bit. And now I zoomed in, and suddenly you see, you see more of what's happening. So this is this middle clip. I can right-click and delete, 
and I deleted out the part where Petra was poking her nose. My, my, my nose. Oh. Let's see. This. Let's see it from the start. Hello, buddies. And there you are, raving. So, so in this, this uh, special uh, episode, uh, we want. want to... So now I start laughing again. So after you wave, I have to cut it. So I'm going back until you waved. Mm -hmm. See, there's your waving. Yeah. And there uh, goes your waving hand. And then I'm gonna click on the clip and click on the scissors. And then I have the point from which I want to cut out. Everything that's full is now, I want to cut out. So, in this uh, special uh, episode, uh, we want to... Hi. So... Hi. In this special episode... So, we're hiding and then I'm starting to talk again. Yep. So, I'm placing the, the playhead about where Petra says hi. And... And then I start talking. So before I start talking, I, I go back with the cursor keys a little bit. And then I cut again. And then I'm gonna click on this clip. And this is the all this clip is things we messed up. I right click mm -hmm. and delete it. And then let's watch it from the start. Hello, buddies. In this special episode, I'm gonna show you guys how behind the scenes, sort of. Um, no, I'm gonna show you guys how. Uh, we, I, how we. As you see, I'm messing up again. <laughs> Let's see if I correct it. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys. Aha, uh -huh. so I do a correction there. So I place the playhead before I start talking. Before in this episode, I'm going back again. So my mouth is closed. I'm going to cut there before I start talking. And the whole part in front of that. In this special app, I can cut out with delete. Right click delete. <coughs> In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how we make a YouTube video episode. How we make the episode. I'm gonna... How we make a YouTube episode. How we make the episode. It's twice, so I'm gonna cut it out after the first one. A YouTube video episode. Episodes. And then I cut it again, and then I don't want the rest of my blarping so the whole rest of the clip let me zoom out a bit to show you guys that i just decide i don't want the rest of that clip so it's a pretty long clip yeah. that whole clip i'm gonna right click delete so now let's watch everything from the start Let, or let's save first yes. hello buddies in this episode i'm gonna show you guys how we make a YouTube video episode. So, buddies. So, and then there is another scene. So, that other scene requires a transition because it's sudden and Vomora has all kinds of transitions. So, just pick one. To see what they do, just cl double click on them and you get an idea. The cross setter. Yes. To use this, um, let me zoom in a bit. You see, in this clip, if I place the time head, time uh, play head here, you see me talking, and here you see us walking. So in between there has to be the cross shutter. I click, I click on the one I want. Let's see if it's the good one. Yeah, that's the one I want. I click on it, and I drag it onto these clips and it automatically chooses the right position by the yellow lines. I let go of it and then I can test it. Video episode. So buddies. And there it is. Wow. There is the transition. Amazing. Let's save that. That was successful. Mm -hmm. If we decide we don't want to use it, we undo it. But if we decide no, we want to use it, we redo it. Mm -hmm. Easy as that. If I want the crazy parameter fun, I just drag it over there and it's replaced by Yo, the crazy episode. parameter fun. So, buddy. But we don't want that one, so we undo that. Video episode. So, and that one is back again. Mm -hmm. 
Now the only thing left you could imagine is adding text. And here's the text part. Mm -hmm. Fomora has a lot of text. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go back to the beginning. Let's say I want the text to start at the beginning mm -hmm. of the second clip. Just mm -hmm. for fun of it. When Petra, when Petra is waving, I want some text. So let's see what do we have. We have main title and subtitle. Yeah, that uh, looks nice. We have your text here. So subtitle easy. Um, yeah, what basically we can use whenever we want. I liked this one, main title, subtitle. So to use that, I click on it and I drag it to the clip where I want it. I can let go on, on it places it automatically on the timeline. And if I want to have it start at the beginning, I click on it and drag it to the left. Mm -hmm. Click on it, drag it to the right. Wherever I want it, it will be. And this, you see, as soon as I want to start it at the second clip, it has a little handy helpline appearing, mm -hmm. letting me know about the text. But you see, the text is longer than the clip. So it looks, now looks like this. Yes. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how we make a YouTube. That's pretty long for the subtitle, so we have to shorten that in really easy. Go to the end of the subtitle, and then two arrows appear. I click, and now I can drag it out, make it even longer, or make it shorter, just for that part of that second clip. I mm -hmm. want the subtitle to be matching. Mm -hmm. In this like episode. This. So... Now we have main title, subtitle. I just go back to the clip and just click the playhead somewhere that you see the subtitle in the preview window. I can double click on it, but I can also double click on the great background. So mm -hmm. let's first change the name of this. So wherever you click, you can change. Whatever you click, you can change. Mm -hmm. So we could make this a tutorial. Uh, Fomora. We we'll make that Fomora, and we we'll make this tutorial Fomora. Mm -hmm. Now I want the gray to match the text a bit, so I click on the gray, and this box appears, and everything, every corner, I can I can pull out the gray, make it smaller. Uh, or I can resize it to match the text a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Same thing goes on this side. I can also make it a bit shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see four, four arrows, it means that you can pick the whole thing up and move it around until you're pleased with it. Let's make it a little bit shorter on this side and a bit shorter on that side. And there's your text. I can also have, have some options. On this side, to make it a different color text, I have to select the text first, of course. I can make it uh, yellow. I can make the word tutorial. I can make that uh, white with a gray, with a, with, a, with a yellow shine. I can make it crazy purple. I can also change the purple into other crazy colors, like this. And if I'm, Pink. if I want to align it, I can align it to the center, align it to the left, basically just like a word document. When I'm ready, I say okay, and then this is what we have. Is. In this episode, I'm so now I want to add some music. If I click on the music uh, tab, mm -hmm. you get all kinds of music. So I click something. <laughs> Let's say I want to walk through life. I just click on it, drag it to the timeline, and it is automatically placed in the correct uh, slot. slot on the timeline. Let's play it again. Hello. So the music is way too loud and way too long. Mm -hmm. Let's fix the long first. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see how long the music is compared to the video clips. Way too long. I click at the end. I drag it all the way to the left, 
until it matches the final clip. Yeah. And then I can zoom in again to see that, what happens. Mm -hmm. So now the music matches the video length. Then I have to sh uh, turn on down the volume a bit. I right click on the music, I edit it, I click edit and the volume is 100%. I'm going to put that at all the way this slider. Excuse I didn't select the clip, I think. Right click, edit, slider, all the way to, let's say, 4, 4. Let's, let's take 4 and listen to it. Hello, buddies. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how we make a YouTube video episode. So, buddies. So, that sounds way better. Yes. That sounds way better. Mm -hmm. So now we have some music, but music at the end. Walking back from the groceries. The music ends really sudden, mm -hmm. so we have to fade it out. To fade it out, we right click, we go to edit, and you have fade out. Let's fade it out at five seconds. So five seconds before the video ends, the clip will fade out. Episode. So, buddies, walking back from the groceries. So, basically, that's all you have to do. Let's save it again. You need to know. All you need to know. You can add overlays if you want. If you want to make it colorful, you can add mm -hmm. some crazy elements. Yes. Um, you can do some filterings mm -hmm. um, if you would want to. Um, but basically that's all all it takes that's mm -hmm. all it takes to make a little video yeah. now to end it we have to export so we're going to export and then a screen pops up with all kinds of options of formats and usually I use mp4 that's a very well-known mu uh, movie format uh, other movie formats uh, are also available if you would want that. I can make a name. I can make this a test uh, test clip, test clip one. Mm -hmm. um, I look at the settings, and you can choose best, better, good, uh, YouTube optimized. But you can also click on YouTube, and YouTube says you can upload it directly to YouTube, mm -hmm. um, and then you have. Three, three options of quality. I'm just like, I, but I always make the movie myself first. Mm -hmm. So then I click export and the movie will export. And all that's left then is upload it to YouTube, add the title, the description, and some uh, tag words, and uh, everybody can watch it. Yay! Awesome! So let's export it just mm -hmm. to show you guys how that goes. As you can see, it goes really quick. Converting it, there's the, you, you can see in the screen, you can see how far um, the oh. conversion is. It's done, then it says find target, and there it is, the test clip. Let's play it mm -hmm. one more time. Hello, ladies. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how we make a YouTube video episode. So, buddies. Walking back from the groceries. That was the test clip. So you just have to go to YouTube to upload it. So one more, one last thing I didn't show you guys is how to make a nice thumbnail. So suppose I want to make a thumbnail when we are walking from the groceries. You see uh, here, you see us, and you. See, see no, Petra yes. and you see me. You see us both. You see us both. Awesome. So to make the thumbnail, because you can do a custom thumbnail on uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. and that's what people get to see to click on your clip or not. Mm -hmm. So to make a thumbnail, there's this handy camera snapshot option. So we click that and there's been a snapshot saved to the media library it says. But it's also put it in media snapshot. So here's the snapshot. Oh, amazing. So because we already made 
the movie, I can remove all these files and then drag in the snapshot to the timeline. It's just a picture. Mm -hmm. As you can see, if I play it, it's a picture. So now I choose a text. Let's use... Um, let's use this one. Main title, subtitle. I'm going to drag the text onto the clip. As you can see, it's in front of my mouth. <laughs> so I double click on the text and I drag it to my head. Then I double click on the subtitles and also drag it. And then I click on the bar and also drag it to wherever I want it. So let's say I want it over there and I drag in the main title. Maybe a bit like this. And then I can drag in subtitle. I can put I can put it also next to it, I can put it below it, above it, wherever you want. Mm -hmm. So I could say, for example, um pet filmora tutorial. Oh mm -hmm. I'm writing over the thing is. Let's mm -hmm. drag that to the to the left, filmora tutorial. Uh, pet for more tutorial and I can call this uh, season 2 episode 11 for example mm -hmm. or put in our name delicious and then drag it until it fits I can add the colors mm -hmm. till I see a nice color I like that one mm -hmm. and I can also change the color for this nice. or choose a, another color that for more tutorial and there you have it you have a title so what I do now is make another screenshot and that screenshot if we go back to the media ah, now nice. you see you have a screenshot mm -hmm. with a title really easy and you can import that into YouTube so make the screenshot and it goes to your uh, folder Wondershare ah, I can also show you that I suppose go to documents Wondershare Filmora and user source snapshots hmm. and uh, you see more snapshots we made but you can also see this snapshot that we just made as a picture so that's how you can find your snapshots and you can make an easy title a custom thumbnail with a title for your youtube channel mm -hmm. so how awesome is that very very awesome let's upload this for all our buddies mm -hmm. so this is just a quick tutorial well quick <laughs> yes <laughs> sort of kind of yes. so a quick tutorial to show you guys what are the options and we hope you enjoyed it Oh, wait a minute, don't be uh, clicking the, the, the next video yet, if you like our uh, content, <laughs> yes. uh, like, subscribe, uh, support us on Patreon, yeah, that was it.